Hi everyone, thanks for checking out this video. This is going to be a quick lesson on the difference between deterministic and stochastic models, the advantages and disadvantages of both, and examples of when you might want to use each type of model. So these terms might sound complicated, but they're actually really simple. A deterministic model is just a model that doesn't involve randomness, and a stochastic model is just a model that does involve randomness. Um, that's really all there is to it. The word stochastic might sound like a fancy term, but it really just means that something involves randomness. Another way to put it is that with deterministic models, if you simulate the model a couple times with the same initial conditions and parameters, you always get the same result. Uh, the simulation results are determined exactly by the initial conditions and parameters, but this is not true for stochastic models. Since a stochastic model involves randomness, if you run it a couple times, even with the same initial conditions and parameters, you might get different results each time. So to give you guys a quick example, let's say we're using the logistic growth model to simulate a population of cells that, that grows until it hits a carrying capacity of 100,000, and then the population levels out after that. This plot on the left is what a deterministic simulation of the cell population might look like. Um, it's nice and smooth, and if we run the simulation again without changing anything, it'll look exactly the same um, the second time. On the other hand, uh, this plot on the right is what a stochastic simulation of the same cell population might look like. This model involves randomness in the processes of cell division and cell death. So it looks similar to the deterministic model, except less smooth with more bumps and fluctuations. And if we run the model again, even with the same initial conditions and parameters, we get slightly different results due to the uh, randomness in the model. So the question is, when should we use deterministic models and when should we use stochastic models? Um, both have some advantages and disadvantages. Deterministic models are usually simpler and easier to analyze mathematically and simulate. But even though stochastic models are usually more complex and difficult to work with, um, they're sometimes necessary to use. For example, there might be times when the randomness in a system is the thing you're trying to study, so you need to use a stochastic model to be able to um, capture that randomness. So for example, when I was in grad school, one of the topics that my lab was researching was the consequences of randomness in gene expression. In particular, we were in interested in the random bursts of mRNA production that happen when a transcription factor binds to the DNA. So rather than having a model where there was just a set number of mRNA transcripts for each gene, we wanted our model to include this random production in, in bursts of mRNA, as well as random degradation of the mRNA transcripts. And this was something that required a stochastic model because the thing we were interested in was the randomness of this process and its effects on the biology of the cell. So a deterministic model would not have been sufficient here. Um, okay, so that's all I have for you guys for today. If anyone has any questions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try to answer them. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.